Guys, I don't know what's going on with me lately. I've been forgetting everything and it's really stressing me out. And I mean everything. It took me a whole two minutes before remembering cardboard is flammable. Shouldn't there be labels on this shit? December 15th, 2018, the day the first ever video was posted on this channel, which means that in a few weeks it's gonna turn a year old, and that means I'm running out of time to make a special video for the one year anniversary. Not gonna stress this too hard though, cause like I said, I'm sure I have a few weeks left. Hey Siri, what's today's date? It's Monday. What the f <laughs> Well, thank God for an intro, otherwise I wouldn't have time to write out the rest of this video. I can't believe it's already been a year with the Corn Boys, man. I guess you really don't realize how fast time goes by when you're too busy filming the most low-budget videos since. Trust me, when I say we didn't know shit about YouTube videos a year ago, I really mean it. I mean, looking back at our first real video, it was so random that I can't help but just think, people really sat through that? Technically, our first video on the channel was a reaction video, but um, it was really a... Uh, it sucked ass. Corn Boys Podcast number one. The fetus days, if you will. Now, I know what you guys are all thinking. Podcast? Where the hell is all the equipment? Why is this being called a podcast that the audio is so bad? Isn't that the point of a podcast? Holy shit, is that Kevin Nash? Well, for those of y'all that have been here since day one, you know that the idea for this channel started years ago, actually, during our sophomore year of high school, but we never actually attempted any sort of video until around my first semester of college. Before the Corn Boys, we had a channel called Cornfused, and uh, on that channel, we posted a two-minute reaction video to the second Captain Marvel trailer, and uh, long story short, we got copyright struck. I mean, I did use licensed WWE music in the intro without permission, but it was a rookie mistake. What the hell, YouTube? As you'd all expect, WWE doesn't play around with that kind of stuff, and within one day, the channel got terminated. Since I was the only person running the account at the time, I was the first of the Corn Boys to know, so later on that day, I told the boys what went down, and we kinda all just had a bro moment together. After a long two days of hyping up our channel to everyone we went to high school with, we managed to pull in a world record breaking 35 subscribers in about 12 hours. So where did we go from there? Well, after our first channel went down, we did what every aspiring YouTuber would have done if their channel was immediately destroyed. We gave up. But then, we created a second YouTube channel, and this time around, I took just about every precaution possible to avoid any copyright strikes. Fast forward 50 videos later, and I still hope YouTube doesn't randomly decide to crush our dreams again. So after creating this second channel, we officially changed our name from Corn Fuse to The Corn Boys, and kinda just said f*** it, and agreed to produce YouTube videos regardless if we had any professional equipment or not. Now obviously, one year later, I don't think any of us expected to still produce those same shitty videos, but hey, 200 subscribers in one year with a budget of absolutely zero, and iMovie, I think you can say we're doing pretty okay. So I'm sure you guys are still wondering what the hell does this story have anything to do with our terrible audio. Well guys, it's plain and simple. The Corn Boys was never supposed to be super serious to begin with, so I think the fact that we've made it this far while lacking so much has shown us what we can create when we put our mind to something. And ironically enough, it's the theme of our channel, which if I had to describe in any way, it would be to just have fun and do what you want and don't let anything limit you from that. Think about it, if we can put out 50 videos in one year with my cracked iPhone and this budget tripod I bought for 20 bucks on Amazon, anyone can make YouTube videos. Our podcasts have been a reoccurring thing on our channel since literally day one, and with 12 of them now, it's safe to say these videos are going to continue well into 2020, where we should hopefully have mics and real podcast equipment to make better videos for you guys, because if not... Before we started posting other content on the channel, we didn't really have much ideas at first, so I attempted some reaction videos in between our weekly podcasts like most YouTubers do at some point, but Jesus Christ, why didn't anybody tell me I had no emotion in these videos? Now, I was on like an hour of sleep every time these were filmed, but good god, I guess that explains why our most viewed video to date is still the John Wick reaction, because not only was Keanu Reeves in there, but our most handsome friend was also there to take the focus off my stale f***ing face. Oh well, we also have some gaming reactions too, and those are a lot better, just saying. While we're on the topic of friends, one of the goals of our channel was to introduce to you guys all of our friend group, and while only some of them have managed to make it into a video thus far, there is still plenty of quality stuff that came out of it if you ask me. For instance, our fourth podcast introduced Vincent, our dead ex-pothead friend who is still in all of our promotional material for god knows why, and then in the very next episode, you guys met Emmanuel, who since then has become the only guest to become a cornboy and a major part of this channel. Which by the way, totally was not planned at all, seriously. 
nonetheless, we're thankful to have him on here. I mean, who else is willing to drive three 20 year olds around the city to film YouTube videos? One of our more popular videos from the early days was podcast number six, where we introduced to you all our most suicidal and definitely most questionable friend, Nathan, or otherwise known as Egg Boy. This video was basically us just bullying him for 40 minutes for accidentally killing a llama. Yes, you heard that right, so that's probably why he hasn't been on here since. But don't worry guys, he's definitely gonna be bullied again on the channel soon. Oh, in case you were wondering, nothing's wrong with him, he's just shaped like an egg. The Corn Boys pretty much was the same monotonous channel for the first 6 months until my cousin Jacob and I decided it would be fun to change up the formula and try something different. So we did an Instagram Q&A. And as two people who constantly walk around town doing nothing, let me tell y'all, that was a really fun video to make. So after the Q&A- hey! Dude, what the hell? Can't you see I'm filming a video? I just came to tell you that I'm gonna take a shower and my legs are still a little numb from surgery. I'm in the middle of a video. Why the hell do you have to tell me that now? Well, why do I need to know that? You need to know that because you're the only one here and you're the only one that can watch me. So if you don't watch me, I'm gonna drown. Just look at my damn legs. I can't even stand up straight. All right, all right, fine. I got it. No, you don't got it. I saw that burnt cereal box in the trash. I know you've been forgetting things lately. I set this timer for five minutes because I know you're gonna forget. When that goes off, all you have to do is get me out of the shower, okay? Okay. Don't know what all that was about. Hey, whose phone is this? The Joker voiceover. You know, I gotta say, I thought this one was gonna hit a lot harder than it did and give us the clout we've been waiting for, but it only got like 200 views. I mean, I'm not complaining though. I genuinely, thoroughly enjoy making these videos for you guys because they give me an opportunity to speak in depth on topics in a way that we wouldn't typically do on this channel. So I do have plenty more voiceovers I'd like to make in the future, even though I know my voice makes people feel like... During the making of this video, I decided it was best to be more social and open about our channel as it was the best way to get people to watch our content. I mean, what other choice do we have, guys? One year later, I still can't even make a consistent thumbnail to grab people's attention. I think we've changed the fonts like eight times since the channel started because I can never decide the best looking text for our videos. Also, the thumbnail itself isn't even posted until like a minute after the video and uh, hopefully none of you guys have noticed that. We made an Instagram and Twitter page for the channel a while back, but it really wasn't until the Joker video was posted that we really started using them to promote our videos. You know, aside from doing that basically every day on our personal accounts. This isn't the only kind of self-promoting I've been up to though. Just recently I decided that verbally promoting the channel in public to a bunch of strangers has really helped us gain a bigger following as well. Hey, excuse me sir. Yeah, what's up man? Uh, I was recently diagnosed with terminal cancer and I'm trying to spread awareness through YouTube. Do you mind supporting the channel? Actually, you can go fuck yourself. It's going great. The Corn Boys Hoop. This was kind of an improv bit on the channel, starting on accident. Jacob and I talked in the past about posting highlights of us playing basketball, but every time we actually had highlights, nobody ever got it on video. So Jacob and I decided to play one-on-one -on -one at our home park and former fight club, which you guys will probably never get to see. It was amazing, by the way. I didn't take this game seriously at all, by any means, and paid the price for it, unfortunately. But hey, an L is an L, so no excuses. After this game, we jokingly called out everyone, and when Jacob said, I'm like the best baller around. I'm like the best baller around. But if I'm being real here, I didn't actually expect anyone to legitimately take that seriously and pull up. But I was wrong. The next week, Jacob was challenged by not one, not two, but by three people, and he lost two of those games. One of them, 10 to zero. So as a man of honor, there was only one thing I could do, and that was redeem my cousin's unforgivable L and challenge the beast that destroyed him. Per usual, I talked a lot of trash to hype myself up, and it turned out pretty amazingly because I lost. But then Ryan confidently offered me a rematch and unknowingly bought his own death certificate because I had already lost twice in a row up to that point and anyone who knows me knows that I only make the same mistake twice. He ended up choking a 7-3 lead to me in embarrassing fashion and I could show you guys the full video but for those of you who just don't want to waste your time this pretty much sums it up. Shenanigans with Cornboy Jake, technically the first real skit on this channel. You see, we always thought it would be amazing and fun to create our own skits, but we never actually got around to doing them until Jacob dropped this trailer for his own segment out of nowhere. It could have been anything from a cold opening to an outro or even a whole video itself, but for whatever reason, we always pushed these skits aside. You see, prior to this, the closest thing we had gotten to a skit was the intro to our very first podcast. Jacob was supposed to throw a gallon of water at me, but... <laughs> <laughs> no! 
And I still don't know how we missed. Shenanigans really opened up the door for a lot of diverse content on our channel. I'd say before this, the most out there thing that we had posted was a two-part Death Nut Challenge video, which again was Jacob's idea, so I give him full credit for his creativity. Since his shenanigans dropped, we've taken a break from our weekly podcasts and just have been more free all around, posting a variety of stuff like vlogs, a more enthusiastic reaction, more shenanigans videos, and our homie Emmanuel even felt comfortable enough to start up his own segment on the channel featuring his dope hobbies that were 10 out of 10 continue into 2020. We met Dr. Phil, Jacob got shit faced, we met Dr. Phil, the boys made a chamoy pizza. Just a lot of stuff went down in these past few months on the Corn Boys, and I can't even tell you how much we all appreciate the fact that even one of you watches our videos, let alone 200. I mean, y'all must have really felt it when Diego said, What are you gonna do? You gonna subscribe or you're gonna suck dick? Because we gained like 10 subscribers. Dick must be f***ing gross. But seriously guys, the amount of support we've gotten this year from close friends, to friends of those friends, to just some random people we didn't even know we went to school with, it really means so much to us and that's a big thing that pushes us to continue making videos for you guys. I'll tell y'all, if nobody watched our videos it would feel pretty bad. So once again, we appreciate y'all so much. Our first year on YouTube passed faster than we can even imagine and we all can't wait to see what the second year has in store for us. If you enjoyed this video, um. If you enjoyed this video, god damn it! Guys, 20 minutes later, and I finally figured out how to turn that phone off. It didn't take much, really. A few moments later. Ah, it's all coming back to me now. This is my brother's phone. I remember he gave it to me earlier when he told me to. Oh, sh oh my god, oh my god. Steady, steady, dude. Oh my god, dude. Are you okay? He's dead.